Meanwhile, in the distant world of Outland, the commanders of the Burning Legion eagerly await their master in the Black Citadel. Such is description of Interlude, Council of the Legion. When will he come, Lord Kazakh? Our lord and master shall arrive exactly when he described, Mother Sharas. <laughs> Greetings, fellow commanders. I trust you all know why I have summoned you to this place. Several months have passed since your ascension to leadership, my lord. During that time, you have failed to direct any sort of assault upon the mortal realms. May I remind you, Charaxus, that the Legion's will was called upon to conjure as the Darkener. He has been situated on Azeroth ever since, plotting its destruction. Have we heard any contact from the Chondrius, my lord? Do you have faith that he can succeed where Asgalor and Sargras could not? I am afraid, Shahraz, that the Chondrius was recently slain in battle. Due to this unfortunate loss, I have now appointed Mephistroph as the new leader of the Nafrezium. My brothers and I are willing to serve Lord Kiljaden. Thank you, Mephistro. As I was saying, the mortals of Azeroth have yet again resisted our attempts to destroy them. I believe there is only one obstacle that stands in our way. The Night Elves. It has come to my attention that the Elves have been anticipating our arrival. Over the centuries, they have placed a series of protective measures around the World Tree, making it impossible for any demon to approach its proximity without alerting the Night Elves and their allies. Therefore, if we are to succeed in our endeavors, we must go about this invasion a very different way. That is why I have called you all here, so you will know what must be done to ensure Azeroth's fall. My lord. Out of all the places to hold this meeting, why, in Outland, I thought the Black Citadel would be a nice change from our usual conference, much to the dislike of a certain someone. What are what you are doing in my temple? Ah, McFerridon. I cannot say that I am thrilled to see you interrupt our private meeting, so I must ask you to leave at once. I am the Lord of Outland. I will not tolerate such insolence on my grounds. And you, McFerridon, belong to the Legion. Now be gone with you. Uh. Pompous warlock always pushes me around. Ah, I look forward to the day when I finally. Lord McFerridon, another ride has started. What? Take me there, my demoness. Tiresome mongrels. You and your clan have meddled in our affairs for the last time. Oh yeah? I will enjoy cutting you where you stand. You want a piece of me? Then come over here. 
I command you all as your ruler to stop this outrage at once. Turn to your posts, you ungrateful brutes. This has been the third uprising this week, my lord. First go Jaden ridiculous me, and now I have an army that's already killing each other. Can this day get any worse? At least you will never betray me. Greetings, little pit lord. What do you want, your Jaden? For the last time, you are to address me as your lord. Now, do you remember our little talk? I will not be going to Azeroth. My place lies as the ruler of Outland. Do you mean the lord of some savage orcs who rage at war at one another? You have no future here, Macveridon. You are much better served on the front lines for our next invasion. Do you take me for a fool? I know you only want me on Azeroth to be rid of me, killing the last of my kind. Your brothers died as a result of their own stupidity. If I wanted you dead, I would have done so myself a long time ago. Why do you mock me, Gilchaden? Am I nothing but a painful reminder for, of all those years who you served under Asglor's wing? Do not mention that name. You should be thankful that I am giving you the opportunity to prove your loyalty to the Legion. This will be your last chance, Macferidon. Join us in the battle for Azeroth, or it will be the last mistake you will ever make. We will see about that, Kill Jaden.